So today let's chat about small leather goods and why I don't think they're worth spending a huge amount of money on. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chat. <coughs> Sorry, I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, today I'm going to share with you my SLG collection and the reasons why I don't spend a huge amount of money on them. And I'll save the reason why I don't spend significant, significant sums until the end. I will just quickly rattle through with you the um, the SLGs that I own, where they're from, if I can remember where I bought them, I will, um, and just all of that kind of good stuff. I'm not including things like key charms or anything like that. I have a few of those, but um, I don't count those as kind of within this SLG accessory category. They're more accessories opposed to SLG accessories, if that makes sense. So let's kick things off. This was just a really inexpensive one. It's just a sunglasses case. I bought this from Boots, love the color, love this beautiful kind of peacock blue, comes with this great peacock glasses cleaner, great interior. It's got a bridge there as well for the bridge of the glasses. I love this. I think it's fabulous. It was about 15 pounds. I just love the color and I love the the soft texture of it, I think is absolutely beautiful and um, don't need to spend a huge amount on it. And funnily enough, whenever I pull this out of my bag, people always say, wow, what a beautiful colour. So I agree. I think it's stunning. Love that. Next up, a firm favourite lives in my bag. Okay, it's not leather. It's nylon, but it has a little bit of leather here. This is my... Um, Longchamp Le Pliage pouch um, from the club line. Uh, this is fabulous in the cobalt blue with the white Longchamp there with the silver hardware. Love this. Paid about £30 for this. Bought it at the outlet. Would buy one of these full price as well, but they only do the, these pouches with the handle now, which isn't quite so much for me. This is brilliant. So easy to clean. Just got a great kind of simple interior. It's just got the grey interior there. Mine just full of stuff. Um, I just move this from bag to bag. Goes with me wherever I go. I think it's fantastic. It holds up really, really well. Like I said, very easy to maintain. And actually, considering this has lived in my bag for about a year, it looks pretty much as good as the day I bought it, minus a few scuffs and scrapes. So pretty happy with that. Can't recommend those enough. Next up, my current wallet. My Kurt Geiger tweed wallet. I won't show you the interiors. It has all my cards, etc. But it's just this beautiful tweed. It matches one of my bags. Um, leather pull, leather here, Kurt Geiger London. Um, it's lovely. Like I said, it matches one of the bags. It's very simple, very easy to use. Um, great layout on the interior. It's got card slots on both sides and then a pocket for cash, etc. in the centre. This is great. Very easy. I don't worry about it. I don't baby it. It lives in your bag at the end of the day, so you don't want to worry too much about it. But I am a big wallet person because I use um, big bags. So I just find it easier to store cash, cards, receipts, etc. in here and not worry too much. I do sometimes use a card holder, but now I've moved back into a long wallet and I can't see myself switching out of this for a little while. So this is a good one. A little bit of Osprey London, and I said I wouldn't do bag uh, kind of charms. This is a charm, but it's also, I think, like a mini <laughs> purse or wallet if you wanted it to be. This is just from Osprey London. It's meant to look like one of their bag styles. Um, it comes with this chain, so you can just hang it off of another bag if you wanted to. Put your keys on it, etc. It's just got a little space in there. You could keep some cards, uh, cards? No, you couldn't. You could keep some gum. You could maybe keep some coins. I've got coins in there. I mean, this is probably no no smaller than the Le Chiquito Jacquemus bag charm thing that was 250 quid that people wear as like a necklace. You know, so this is probably, Ospreys have had this for probably going on about seven or eight years. Very rarely use it. If I'm honest, the reason I don't use it is I don't like the bag style that it's emulating. <laughs> so I don't really know why I bought it. I bought me and mum one, but you know, it's cute. Does what it needs to do. Let's do a few more pieces from Osprey. I've just got them all in this little drawer here. 
I'm now looking and realise that I've definitely forgotten one, but that's fine, I can talk you through it. So I've got these three Osprey London card holders. This one in this beautiful kind of bug print, really impactful. This one I used for a long time. It's definitely showing its wear, it's showing wear here, but I think it's really, really lovely. It's leather, it's handmade. Stunning. I absolutely love the print. That was what I was quite drawn to. I really, really enjoyed it for as long as I was using it. And do you know what? Will I use it again? Sure. I'm sure I will. It's got a really nice interior. It's great. I also have this kind of lipstick pink one, as I call it. Really sturdy leather. You can see here, though, where the colour has started to kind of rub off of it. It's also got this mark here because it had Live, Laugh, Love written on it, and I couldn't bear to have a card holder that had that written on it. So I scratched that off, which meant I scratched off some of the, the pink. But you know what? It was worth it to not have Live, Laugh, Love written on it. Use this one again for a very, very long time. Very, very happy with it. This one, another one, used it for a really long time. The one downside that I would say with these two in particular is because they're hot stamped, that that kind of rubs off, they're foiled, so that rubs off. So I do prefer one that has a more sturdy logo to it, whether that be kind of embossed or debossed, whichever way round it is, um, or one that has a metal plaque. Um, but it's great, I love the colour, used it again for a very, very long time. This one also has the beautiful kind of floral interior there four card slots and then you've got the centre as well which could be another card slot. Very easy to use. These probably each cost me about 20 or 30 pounds um, and Osprey is one of those um, kind of contemporary designer brands so I think a really good price point. I do have another one of those Osprey um, card holders. It is in a green mock croc. I have no idea where it is though so I do have one of those. Similar price point, um, mock croc this kind of deep bottle green um, with a hot stamp, a gold hot stamp on it as well. So very similar functionality. Um, you can tell that I like them because I bought so many of them in different variations. A different type of card holder from Longchamp, from Longchamp, from Osprey London. Um, we have this one here, which is this fold um, card holder. So there you go, got that. It's got a mirror as well, which is what I'm hiding so you can't necessarily see the phone and the setup, but I bought two, I bought one in this lovely lemon yellow and then I bought this one in black mock croc. This I've used a lot and it looks like new. This is fantastic, I have to say this has held up so, so well and having the mirror in there so that if you need to, you can just, you know, give yourself a little, a little once over, that's all good. It comes with three card slots and then a slot that sits behind the card slots, which could be a fourth. So still pretty practical, a bit more like a wallet, but it's got a mirror as well. So if you don't use a, um, a separate mirror, then this could absolutely be something for you to consider. Back in the day when I used to use kind of more traditional wallets, I have three. I have this never used Jack Wills tartan kind of canvas one. There's no reason I never really used it. Like it's fine, don't get me wrong. It's got, you know, a couple of cards in it. There's no reason I didn't use it. It just, I think I bought it because it was on sale and you should never buy something just because it's on sale. Also these served a place when cash was more of a thing. Don't use cash very often anymore, do we? So we have those. Then I have my very traditional um, black pebbled leather Osprey London. This was beautiful and this has held up so well. I used this for many, many years. Very, very happy with it. I think it's very sophisticated, very elegant, very simple. I bought a number of these as gifts for my friends. They're probably about 40 pounds when I bought them from the outlet. Really good price point. And this is what I mean about the embossing or debossing, whatever that is called there. It means that it never rubs off. So you always have that little bit of branding. This has a really nice and subtle lining as well. It's done really, really well. Bit of black polish over the top of it and it looks pretty good again. So no complaints here. Now my absolute ride or die wallet for years and years and years and years and years was this burgundy polo Ralph Lauren mock croc wallet. Absolutely love it. I mean, look at how used this thing is. Wow, wow, wow. It's got colour transfer, it's fraying, it's got cash in it. Ah, we have five euros and we have 15 yen from when I went to China. There we go. Must have used it when I was in China. Yes. So it has just a very simple lining, 
very simple lining, um, four, eight card slots, two slots that sit behind, and then a key, and then slot for your cash. I use this so, so much every single day for probably four or five years. Really loved it. This was one of my kind of first steps into the more designer um, small leather goods, and I didn't feel a need to buy many more. Um, it just worked perfectly for me. Red really isn't my colour anymore, but but burgundy, if I was going to go for a red, I'd go for more of a burgundy because it's more towards that purple shade. Um, like this very much, it served me well. One more card holder. This one's from Kurt Geiger. This one I bought many, many years ago. I think I've owned this for a good four or so years. Three or four years, yeah. And um, wow, is it looking looking like it is. I mean, look at the back there. Oh, look at that colour transfer on it. The front is looking pretty good. It's the back that's really struggling, but I absolutely love this. This, I think, was part of their Pride collection. It's still a staple of their collection. You can buy this even now. It's £49 now. I paid 34 so it's gone up 50% in about three or four years, which, okay, fair enough. It, it looks pretty good from the front, I have to say, and I love the colours that they chose. I just think it's really fun, really vibrant. This is a really great card holder. And what's good about this, and I referenced this in my Aspinall of London video, is that the um, slots don't stretch, which means that the cards don't fall out, which really bugs me when a card holder has slots that stretch. And I'm very fortunate, actually, that all of these ones that I've shown you, they haven't done that. They haven't stretched. So it makes them very, very easy to use. And I don't worry about my cards disappearing. Let's go now to travel accessories and... Here we have, oh, there's the mock croc. Green mock croc osprey. This, this looks pristine. Wow. This has held up well. I've owned this for, we're going back six or so years. This has held up really well. Kind of the colour and the mock croc, it's a bit like the Hulk, isn't it? That's what it makes me think of. But yeah, there we go. So now we have four from Osprey. Editing Nick here, sorry, washing machine on the go. Completely forgot about this silver Halls and Curtis iPad cover. It's for an iPad 2. I still use an iPad 2. That really gives you an indication as to how up to date I am with technology and how much I really care about technology. So this is great, love it. I've also used it as a bit of a document holder as well. And it just slots really nicely into a bag, durable pebbled leather. No complaints, Halls and Curtis. Plus those. Right, travel accessories before I got sidetracked. I have three passport travel document wallet thingy majiggies. So the first one I got was this Mercedes Benz smooth leather. It is beautiful, it is soft. The only thing I would say with this leather is that it scratches quite easily, but that's just the nature of the leather. Um, it's got so many compartments, so practical, so easy to use. This is just really, really sophisticated and I love how flat it folds. It also comes with, or came with, this wallet. So you can put some cash in there if you wanted and then it's got card slots and that all just slots together as part of this kind of overarching um, set, which I just think is fabulous. It's beautiful. I've owned this since I was 21. So I've had this for, yeah, over six years. Um, I haven't used it as much as I would have liked to, but when do we ever use these things really, really regularly? Things like, unless you travel weekly, monthly, but of course we've also just come out of a period of time where we spent two years going nowhere. So that that's a little bit unfortunate. I haven't used it all that often. And if I'm honest, this has been slightly replaced by two that I prefer. So let's talk about those two. Aspinall of London. These are fabulous. I absolutely love them. And the great thing with these is, although they are travel document um, kind of holders, if you wanted to, you could use it as a clutch. No one needs to know what the interior is like. In the same way that people use the like Dior gift lipstick sets, you could absolutely use one of these as a clutch. And the great thing is with the new versions of these is that they have made these inserts removable. So you can either have it as just one open space or you can have it as a, a kind of document holder, um, which is fantastic because it adds that element of versatility to it. Um, if you buy one of those inserts that you can buy that comes with a strap, you could also use it as a bit of a shoulder bag if you wanted. As I said, I have two. I bought this one from Selfridges in this burgundy mock croc. Fun fact, my mum has the same one. Although we have different linings. Mine has this navy blue lining, hers has a cream lining because 
she got hers as a gift from my dad about three or four years earlier than I bought this one. So it goes to show you how long these stay within the range. So pretty good, like this one very much. Then she very kindly gifted me this beautiful hot pink mock croc. Um, so it has the Aspinall here, it's got the Aspinall logo very subtly there. She very kindly um, had this sent to me with my initials on it as well, NJS. Nick James Snell. Um, mine doesn't have the removable inserts. I got this in 2020. Um, and they released the removable inserts quite soon after that. But it is gorgeous. It comes with this very soft gray lining, which is stunning. Um, I just think it's beautiful. Again, you could use this as a great little clutch bag if you wanted to, or you could use it as a travel document holder. I've never used this as a travel document holder because I haven't traveled since I've owned it. However, I used it as a daily kind of wallet with card holders, etc. sitting within it, cash, all of my essentials. Love this. Fabulous. One final travel accessory. If you don't use one of those larger, um, wipe along those larger kind of travel documents you can always just use a simple passport holder i have mine here from one of the classic osprey london ranges which is in this beautiful yellow with the gold hot stamping and it has the most stunning interior look how beautiful that floral interior is they it's just gorgeous so you can just put your passport in um osprey by graham ellis john absolutely love it very vibrant, very fun, very easy to find in your bag, which is important with travel documents. You want to make sure they're to hand, you want to make sure you can see them. This is great for that. Also, if you wanted to combine, there's no reason why you couldn't have your passport in here and just slot it in and just have it as part of the overarching set. So definitely one to consider. Osprey are great for this stuff as an Aspinall. I totally made that up. That was not my last travel accessory. I have one more that was purchased for me as a gift and it comes in this really beautiful little Longchamp bag. It is in this beautiful hot rose color. It is a travel tag. How gorgeous is this? This is from the Le Foulon collection. Great way of being able to identify your luggage. If I'm honest, I don't think I'll put this on a suitcase. I would probably put this on my hand baggage. Just as you know, a little bit of a flex. Absolutely love it. The Le Foulon collection from Longchamp is really lovely when it comes to the SLGs and accessories. Um, and I have three. One that I have no clue where it is, and I did have a hunt for it before starting this video, is my beautiful soft baby pink mirror that stands up on its own. I really love that and I don't know where that is. It's in one of my bags. The problem with having quite a few bags is that you never know where anything is. So I will keep hunting for it and if I find a photo of it, I will post one. I will share it in this in the editing of this. Um, but yeah. And then the final piece that I have from the Le Foulon collection is my rather wonderful six ring, now a five ring because one of them fell off. Key holder in this beautiful blue. I have um denied about buying the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. Every time I go to do it, I think why? This one is still serving me really well. I really like the color. I actually like the leather. I think it's great. Um, it fits everything that I need. It's doing everything that I need right now. So why am I going to spend 200 pounds on something new that I don't need? I don't know. And if I was going to buy a new one, why am I not going to buy a Longchamp one? Because I've loved this one and it has served me really well. So why am I going to change that? Who knows? Who knows? So this is a great one. And my final, final one, thank you for sticking with me, is this great, wonderful A4 document holder by Osprey. This, when I moved, when I was buying my flat, was an absolute heaven sent item. Oh, I just loved being able to keep all of the documents that I needed in here and just go with them. This then slotted in my bag wherever I was going and I just knew that everything was housed where it needed to be housed. It's just fabulous. I love the colour. How gorgeous is this pink? It comes from the same collection as this. So it's got the same, um, same material, same black piping. You can also buy green and pink from this particular collection. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is wonderful. Fabulous, and when you open it up, super duper practical, comes with card slots. You could fit an iPad behind there if you wanted. It also has um, a slot here as well if you wanted to put something in there. You can conceal things using things for this zipper. 
it's got a slot here. I mean, it's so practical and they do an A5 version of this as well. So definitely something to consider. Now for what feels like the hundredth, but I promise will be the last time, that is at the end of it. I completely forgot about a whole category of these things, the wash bags. So these again are just from Osprey. These are canvas, very easy. What I love about these is that when they get a little bit dirty, I just stick them in the washing machine. The um, leather kind of trim holds up, no problem at all. Keeps them clean, keeps them fresh. Um, these are just very, very easy. Great to travel with. You can pack them flat as well if you need to for any reason. Um, just very carefree, which is what I think they should be. Another one that I have, and this is the final item on this list, is my Osprey London Purple Dome wash bag. I thought that this was going to um, be blue, but the lights in the store were quite dark and I was hungover, and therefore I picked up to purple instead of blue and I didn't realise until I got home and I just decided to keep it. But this too comes with that beautiful lining. It has a back pocket as well. It's, it's lovely. I used to use this um, in and out of my respective bags, but actually I just started using the long shot one because it's easier to maintain and actually you can fit more in this than you can in this because the shape of this is just a little bit less practical. So I just moved everything into my long shot one. This one I use within my flat. So it's a lovely item and I'm happy I have it. And yeah, there we go. So, why don't I spend a huge amount of money on SLGs? I didn't think I had that many, um, and actually now I'm looking, I have collectively spent a fair amount, but um, actually I don't spend a huge amount on any one item. The reason being, they are items that are designed to be used and they are designed to be just go into a bag and they will move around, they will scratch, they will scuff. I don't want to be worried about the cost of that. I don't want to carry a Hermes card holder and be worried that it's going to scratch on my keys and it's going to ruin it. I don't want to have a Dior six ring key holder and one of the keys do something to it or something spills inside the bag and you know a fragrance spills and all of a sudden you've wasted hundreds if not thousands of pounds on the SLGs that are inside. I want something that I can just wipe off and if it's a little bit ruined off the back of it well never mind I didn't spend a huge amount of money to begin with very very lucky with the ones that I've picked I buy from good brands still I buy from Aspinall and Osprey and Longchamp I buy from these really reputable kind of mid to high end brands that have great quality a lot of these pieces are leather as well I'm very very happy with them they've done me very well and we live a good life so there we have it. That is my SLG collection and why I don't spend a huge amount of money on them. If you choose to do so, absolutely great. Love it. Do I feel a need for a Chanel card holder? No. No, I don't. But if you do and you love it and it's what you want, absolutely go for it. More power to you. Just isn't for everyone. I would rather put the money towards the bag or the shoe than the SLG. So it's all about choice. I choose to spend less money on this category to spend more on another category. So that's, you know, that's how I bake the cake, so to speak. So there we have it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your favourite SLG is. Let me know what your favourite type of SLG is. And I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.